Hello, fourth year. How are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, today is Thursday, the 1st of October. It's a very hot, hot, hot day. Sunny and hot day. And also windy. Yes? Uh, I have already sent you the corrections from the revision. You are going to open your file. You are going to check the mistakes. See if you understand. Okay? Then... We are going to go to the video watch, pages 150, 151, and then bye-bye. You don't have homework, okay? Um, are you ready? So, pause the video, check the mistakes, and then play it again, because we are going to go to the video watch. Uh, video watch. Shark versus octopuses, yes? Okay, sharks versus octopuses. Okay, so which one do you think um, is more dangerous? A shark or an octopus? I like this word, octopus, yes, okay? So, um, I want you to describe the picture there, the picture you have here in the book, what you can see there, yes, there is an interaction there, yes, between the diver, yes, and the octopus, yes, okay? I would feel scared. Yes, if I were in his situation, yes, okay, good. And then you are going to do exercises one, two, three, four, and five, okay? Highlight the charts, please, yes, with the highlighter, okay? Good, it says, what do you know about this animal? Well, I know it is a big animal. I know it, it can change color. Yes, okay. To um, uh, camouflage. Yes, okay. And it says, what would you feel? How would you feel if you were the diver? Well, I would feel, um, you know, a threat. Yes, okay. I would feel frightened. I could feel worried, yes, okay. I could feel uh, amazed too, yes, okay. Um, it says, which animal would you frighten you more? Uh, the question I have already made. An octopus or a shark? Both, yes, both. I couldn't be there, yes, okay. Once I was, when I lived in Mallorca, yes, I had a friend and they had, um, her family uh, had a, um, um, a diving uh, school, yes, yeah, so my husband and I were invited to go diving in the morning, yes, during the day, I mean, uh, not in the morning, during the day, at, at night, yes, and I didn't go, yes, because I was afraid, yes, of, um, you know, not diving, yes, as I don't know, um, well, I know swimming, but, uh, you know, I'm very afraid, yes, of um, the ocean and everything, yes, okay? But um, I was afraid, so I couldn't go there, yes? And my husband always regrets, yes? And he say, oh, I wish I had gone that day. And I said, you can't go. Go, I will, I will stay uh, in, the, um, in the boat, in the ship. And you can go down, yes, okay? But um, it was very deep, yes? So I was a bit afraid of that, yes, okay? But, <coughs> sorry, she told me that it was, it was amazing. And it was a very com complete, a very different um, experience to dive in the morning, uh, during the day, I mean, and to dive at night, yes? Because at night you could see other, other, um, other, um, you know, uh, animals completely different from the animals you see. Sea animals, I mean, you see in the morning during the day, not in the morning. Okay. Well, so um, well, okay. um, what do you think uh, might happen in a meeting between an octopus and a shark? I won't tell you. Yes because we are going to watch, to see this video, and we are going to know more about octopuses and sharks. Yes, okay? 
So I want you to highlight these words here. Yes, okay. Big, aquarium, dismiss, prey, soccer, and welfare. Yes, is it clear? Yes, okay. So let's solve the key vocabulary first, okay? That is exercise two. Yes, so I want you to highlight tank, predator, yes, okay, camouflage, surroundings, and release. Yes, okay, I will tell you the answers. Remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Good, so we have uh, two, B, one, E, two, D, three, A, 4B, 5C. Yes? Okay. And then we continue. There we have. We are going to go to the video. We are going to see it. Yes? I'm going to send it to you all the same. Yes? In a minute. Wait a minute, I have to make this note. If not, I will forget about it. Yes? All right. So there we go. Pam, pam, pam. Ready, steady, and go. It's a giant Pacific octopus in an equally giant aquarium tank. Here's a giant Pacific octopus in an equally giant aquarium tank. The giant Pacific... Here's a giant Pacific octopus in an equally giant aquarium tank. The giant Pacific octopus is from a group of animals known as octopods, meaning eight legs or arms. Eight legs or arms, yes, they are in a tank, in an aquarium tank. Now, there are also sharks in this tank as well. Would you like to swim with sharks? Yes, or I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to swim with sharks. This is a spiny dogfish shark, known to be a Spine, you know, this is the name, I have to read it. Spiny dogfish shark is in excess, on exercise um, five, yes? It's a predator, yes? Predator, yes? Oh my God. A fierce predator. Predator, predator, yes? Predator, yes? Predator. Now, there are also sharks in this tank as well. This is a spiny dogfish shark, known to be a fierce predator. predator. Usually, dogfish sharks eat fish. So they eat fish. But they have been known to attack and eat an occasional octopus. Could this octopus be in danger of being eaten? Well, don't dismiss that idea yet. The giant Pacific octopus is an extraordinary creature. Yes, you know, we're going to discover in this video why it is an extraordinary, an extraordinary creature. Yes, listen, watch out. It can camouflage itself from predators by trans... Okay, so it can camouflage, yes, to protect from predators. Yes, okay. Forming its skin color to match its surroundings. Okay, so they can change their skin color. Yes, okay, that's amazing. That's why it is an uh, extraordinary, yes, animal. And if that doesn't work, it can release a dark ink as an attacker and escape by forcing water out of its body, which enables it to move away quickly. Wow. The spiny dogfish shark got its name from two sharp spines on its fins, which contain a mild poison. Okay, oh my God, that poison must be terrible. Dangerous. Dogfish sharks are known to travel in large schools or packs like dogs. When bodies of sharks began appearing at the bottom of the tank, the aquarium staff became worried about the shark's welfare. The giant octopus usually dines on fish and small sea creatures like prawns and crabs, so no one expected the humble octopus to be responsible for the dead sharks. 
but they soon discovered what was happening. Each of the octopus's flexible arms contains two rows of suckers used for catching prey. Okay, so they have suckers, suckers, yes, that are used, yes, to catch its prey, yes, okay? Oh my In its mouth is a beak which it uses to kill prey and Okay, so there you have the key word. It mouse is a beak. Yes, the hard part of the mouth, usually on a bird. Yes, so they, they use it, yes, to take the prey. It's a beak which it uses to kill prey and tear it into pieces, including, it seems, fearless sharks. So, at the, at the beginning of the class, uh, uh, we were asked, yes, in one of the questions there, um, who do you think, uh, what do you think might happen in a meeting between an octopus and a shark? Oh my God, yes, that is amazing, yes, okay, did you, uh, uh, at the beginning of the class, did you know that the shark was going to be eaten by an octopus? Yes. Oh my God. The aquarium staff had learned something new about the giant Pacific octopus. They hadn't expected it to be an expert shark killer. Okay, so this is an expert shark Shark killer, yes. The, uh, this octopus, yes, is an expert shark killer, yes. Okay. Oh my God. Well, it's clear that we can pronounce the octopus the winner in this fight. There definitely was a dangerous animal in this aquarium tank, mm -hmm. but the danger had eight legs and powerful suckers.